Greetings, everyone. My name's Jed Schlackman. I'm a holistic counselor as well as a spiritual energy healer and hypnotherapist. For this video, I want to speak about the middle portion of people's lifetime, often called midlife. So that could be in your 40s, your 50s, that part of adulthood where people are often re-examining or redefining their identity, their beliefs, their priorities, their way of looking at the world around them and their personal role in that world. So during midlife, people are often kind of going through some type of shift or transformation. This might be changes with their family, with their career, with their spirituality, their sexuality, just about any aspect of their identity might be going through some type of evolution or change. And I'd encourage us to consider that this is something kind of normal and natural. It's part of our evolution as individuals we're meant to really shift and transform our identity over the course of our lifespan. So it's really not healthy to be too stagnant, to be stuck in the identity that you've had from the time you were, let's say, a teenager or a young adult. As you're gaining more life experience, more knowledge, more understanding of different things, it's common to make these shifts or changes in how you think about yourself or look at the world around you. There's also some common triggers, things that are happening in our lives or in our family or career circumstance that are catalysts, let's say, to help us make these changes or help us re-examine things. Let's suppose that you're a parent and you had your children at the time you were a young adult, let's say in your mid-twenties, and now it's close to 20 years later and your children have become adults themselves and they may be leaving your home they may be going off to college or going to live on their own somewhere else. They might be forming a partnership relationship, a marriage, etc. So your role that you've had with those children of yours is naturally going to change. They're not dependent on you as the parent anymore. They're becoming more independent, having their own life their own endeavors, etc. So if you're very attached to that parent role, then it's a time for you to transform, to recognize that your child's not so dependent on you anymore. It's time to kind of let go, to allow your children to function on their own, to not be as attached as they've been up until this point. And as the middle-aged adult now, you might have this space in your life where you're not as consumed with handling things with your children. You're ready to explore more of your own needs, your own individual interests, things that are fulfilling or meaningful for you beyond the role you were playing as a parent. So that's a very common pattern at this point in people's lives to make that shift beyond a parent role that's been a major focus in their life. And often around the same time, career changes may be occurring. So a person may feel kind of burnt out in a career they've been in, 
or they may feel that their interests or values have changed, that they've accomplished things they wanted to accomplish with their career and it's reached a point where there's not really much more to accomplish or grow in that particular position or occupation and someone might seek to go back to school to study something different or to on their own explore a different career, a different vocation. So this is another way in which people often transform in this stage of their life. They shift their role in terms of career or profession, of what they're contributing to their community, of how they're earning their income, etc. And this is just something to consider for yourself. Where are you at in your career, in your life? Are you feeling you're getting the meaning and fulfillment you desire? Many people may have just been kind of sticking with the job or career for financial sustenance, kind of for the survival aspect and now they may have an opportunity to explore something beyond that, to look for deeper meaning in whatever vocation they're pursuing. So this is a very common shift or change at the midlife period. Also, people's basic beliefs or philosophies about life, about spiritual matters, these may go through some type of change as well. There are many people who have a world view or belief system that at some point gets challenged or shaken up or they're exposed to other ideas, to other cultures, to other ways of thinking about these bigger questions of life. There are many people who leave a religion in the middle age period of their life. They might change to a different religion. They might lose the interest in religion altogether, losing your religion, so to speak, like the REM song title. But in this case, it's not losing, it's actually shifting your view of spirituality in many cases. So letting go of the confines of a particular religion or doctrines of it and perhaps considering a more individualized version of spirituality. There are many people who kind of take pieces from different faiths or different traditions and kind of synthesize them together in their own spirituality it's not attached to just one particular religious tradition. There are some people who go in a more agnostic direction or atheistic direction where they don't believe in God or a spiritual realm. And then there are people who go in the opposite direction of that where they spent most of their life either atheistic or agnostic not really believing in or paying attention to spiritual matters and then at a certain point they dive into the spiritual search they may explore religion they may explore different spiritual phenomena things like meditation plant medicines like ayahuasca there are people <coughs> who will do some type of altered state of consciousness, not just basic meditation, but maybe some form of breath work, some approach of applying hypnosis to go access something spiritual. There's many different practices people might use. Shamanic vision questing, that's another one. So people that are exploring some deeper aspect of consciousness 
It could be out-of-body experiences. It could be learning about near-death experiences, about reincarnation, about channeling or mediumship. So these are all different spiritual ideas and practices people might be exploring that they hadn't been interested in or exposed to earlier in their life. So the spiritual aspect is of course a common area of evolution as we go through life. Another domain where people often are going through some type of shift or change in the midlife period is with sexuality. There are some people that explore different forms of sexuality or different types of relationships than they had been involved in earlier. There are others who actually had been more open and expanded in what they were exploring with their sexuality who choose to limit their sexual interaction more to be more, let's say, discerning or more discriminating about their intimate relationships as they enter the midlife time period. So there's many different ways people might shift in their sexuality and their exploration of intimate relationships. There are people who evolve or change from being heterosexual to something other than that to being gay or lesbian or fluid in their sexual experiences or bisexual. This is not that unusual. So if you're at this point of your life where you're not feeling satisfied with your previous identity, your previous relationships, your previous roles, beliefs, etc., then you may be going through some type of transition or transformation. And this is often kind of challenging and difficult for people. It's not easy to break away from what you've experienced in your life to the roles you've played and how you've been seen by other people. <clears throat> we form certain identities and that's not only how we define ourselves, but it's also how other people look at us. It shapes the expectations they have of us, how they perceive you, how they interact with you. So if you're going through some type of shift, it's going to affect your relationships with other people and how other people are reacting to you. So you might end up with different relationships in your life. Not only different relationships, but different jobs. You might end up moving to a different location. So there's many things that might change. And of course, change in our life often brings some stress or anxiety it's not that simple to make a big transformation to leave behind old identities or old aspects of how you see yourself in the world. So it's often a time of a lot of introspection, a lot of self-reflection, a lot of questioning yourself, and it's helpful to do different practices that help you get through this process of transformation. Things like journaling, meditation. You might seek a therapist, a counselor, or a coach. Someone who you can go to to process things, to discuss things, to get a neutral outside viewpoint on what you're going through in your life. Someone who's not going to judge you. Someone who can listen to you. 
and perhaps give you some insights or feedback or suggestions as you go through any challenges you're encountering. It's helpful to learn to be easy on yourself, to not judge yourself for having anxiety, for having fears, for having doubts, and so on, to realize that you're human, you're going through some type of transformation or transition, you're discarding some aspects of who you thought you were, and perhaps embracing some aspects or ideas that are somewhat new to you that you hadn't encountered or embraced before. So this is a continual process of evolving. Our identity is never completely solid or static or meant to grow or meant to expand our concept of who we are of who we're becoming or what we're accomplishing in our life. I hope that this somewhat brief overview has given you some ideas or feedback about your own path, some things to consider or explore. For those who are interested in holistic health, holistic wellness, personal growth and spirituality. I offer additional resources and other videos and I also have a website which has information about the therapeutic modalities that I facilitate. The website is phinsights.com that's p-h-i-n-s-i-g-h-t-s dot c-o-m for now, I'd like to wish each of you a wonderful day. Namaste.